Ayoshihara's first segment. 143-765. That's pretty quick. That's up there with Tanner Faust and that, uh, and that Radford. So that's technically on pace as of now to be 940-ish. That is unbelievable as Ayoshihara continues to uh, sweep through the mountain curves here. Here at Colorado Springs for the Pike Speak 2023, and here at the tech inspection. Today is Monday, the the first day of the week. We're gonna have a practice to, tomorrow, all the way to Friday, and Saturday is the setup, and Sunday we're gonna do race. This whole week is gonna be Pike Speak International Hill Climb. So this year we're gonna have Evasive Motorsports Enios Oil. S2000 RS. It should be one of my fastest cars on the mountain. Oh man. Anyways, wish me luck. <laughs> Might be in a trouble on the tech. Yeah. We passed tech pretty much? Yep. So yeah, we're good. Pass tech, we're good to go. All right. Gonna go racing. All right, all right, all right. We're here at upper section for the first practice uh, Tuesday morning. Robin? Yeah, morning. The first pass, super conservative, everything's good. It's just super cold and windy. In this section, we're gonna be really careful. All right, so this morning test at the upper section wasn't great because the engine has a little misfiring, so some ECU issues. So, anyways, I'm here at the Mike Speak International Raceway to test out the cars. They work on the car after the morning test, I mean morning practice at the mountain, so uh, we're gonna check if the car is fixed. All right, testing was good. Uh, I think we fixed our problem, so we should be ready for qualifying tomorrow. Yes. All right, day two for qualifying at the bottom section.
purifying didn't really go as our plan. We got one pass, which is good, but little issues. Uh, got the little brake issues, and then uh, it was the first run, so didn't have a good temp on the tire, so the run was slow. But we're hoping to get the brand new tire with the first, uh, second run, but. What happened, Mike? What is it? Is that the exhaust leak? Yeah, the one of the one of the nut backed off on the exhaust manifold, so and it's impossible to get to unless we take the, all the bodywork apart, which is uh, not gonna make it in time for qualifying. So yeah, so basically we have to sit and wait, and yeah, didn't get any other passes. But in a good in a good note. Um, we got some time, so we got Corify. It's not gonna be the last to run up to the mountain, but uh, it'll be kind of mid-pack. Anyways, we're going back, fix the car, test again, and we have another practice tomorrow. We're back at the PPIR for the testing to see if everything's fixed. So what was wrong was the brake has some uh, knockback, so they put the springs and then they check all the I mean, they, they did all the breeding through the ABS, masters and everything. Uh, and then we had a leak from exhaust manifold, which should be fixed. But those are the major thing. Dinner time. So this testing was good, but we found another leak from the brake line, so we're gonna just test it at the uh, practice at the mountain this morning, but it got canceled because of the weather. That's the summit right there. As you see, there's so much, a lot of crowds. So I guess the weather there is still not great. But uh, we decided to come to come back to PPIR to continue our testing. Uh, and hopefully the leak will be gone and everything's fixed. Find out. It was a really productive testing. I think we pretty much fixed everything, so ready for tomorrow. Right, day four at the Grand Cove middle section. We got the golden pit spot. Let's get it. This session, or this section's practice went really good. We finally had a car back. The car was working perfect. So I was able to put our 
target time. Uh, as we go, we had a three passes and little by little get faster. And then the third one was pretty much the best. And that was actually my fastest time, even compared to uh, 86. 86 should be faster on this section because uh, a couple hundred more horsepower. But yeah, pretty happy about the result. Uh, now we're gonna go back to Airbnb and uh, talk about the strategy setup for the race day. It'll be much different temperature and everything. So, but yeah, it's good. We uh, back on the track now. Game day, we got the best spot in the house. Let's do it. Yoshiara is off and away, and that S2000 is at full song now, climbing up nearly a mile high.
Tai Yoshihara's first segment. 143, 765. That's pretty quick. That's up there with Tanner Faust and that, uh, that Radford. So that's technically on pace as of now to be 940 ish. That is unbelievable as Dai Yoshihara continues to uh, sweep through the mountain curves here. And he said when we talked to him earlier that you just flip the switch when you go from drifting to grip driving to whatever else he might be doing. He's currently competing in the TC America Series in a TCX category car, uh, also a Honda. But uh, this S2000 continues to climb. And uh, as he mentioned earlier, it's definitely far from stock. his way up the hill as Dai Yoshihara uh, continues his ascent to 14,110 feet. Dai, Dai looks down. a little bit off pace, but it's hard to tell again uh, at some of the altitudes here. And, Transmission doesn't shift anymore. No transmission? Uh, yeah, I was in uh, first gear the whole way from the green golf. Okay. Um, and try to try to put in a neutral and, it, and now it doesn't go up. It, is anymore. it in neutral at all? I think it's, it's, it's in because I'm talking to the office over there. Yeah. Is it safe if I can move a little bit further? Yeah. We'll get I mean, like get you further off the road. Is that it. something you guys can pull? Yeah, I, I, can, I, can, I can pull. I can. I have a tow hook. I cool. can grab you. I can dip the clutch. You're more than welcome. You, I can take you up with me, mm -hmm. or, or you can stay here. What, what do you want to do? Uh, up, it, up at where? To 16 mile. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll stay here then. <laughs> okay, um, they will be here for the rest of the day. Yeah, that's fine. So, do you have food, water, stuff you, like that? Can I get a cup of water if you, if you don't mind? Yeah. That'd be great. Um, Thank you so much. That'll save my life. All right, I guess I'm gonna cheer people up from here. Oh man, it was uh, not a not an ideal end of my race today. I don't know what happened, but the shifting the shifter doesn't shift anymore. Um, we had this kind of issue here and there, but it wasn't really continuous. It didn't really happen for a little while, so we thought it was fine. But yeah, something's wrong with the uh, this paddle shifter system. It's really cool to have paddle shifter. It's super fancy and everything, but I'd rather have whatever works. It could be H pattern at this point. Oh, man. Oh, well, I'm gonna stay here for another three, four hours, but at least I got the view. This is the view I get, at least. Let's go, let's go. Oh, so I guess it's been like an hour. Uh, a few cars 
pass by. But it's been like 20 minutes, nobody, oh, nobody's coming by, so maybe something happened in the bottom. Anyways, I'm still enjoying the view. and I'm just making sure the pee is not gonna go on the road ruining anybody's lap I'm doing a good job I think come on Lucy yes. wow she's fast So I think that was the last car. So most of everybody made it to the summit and a few of us, including me, stuck in somewhere or stopped at somewhere. It's so bummer, man. But anyways, I just want to thank everybody, especially my sponsors, Ineos Oil, Yokohama Tire, and Invasive Motorsports everybody and everybody who's watching this video who's commenting on my instagram facebook thank you so much it means a lot uh but yeah i'm so sorry that ended like this um but yeah if you guys can give me another chance we'll try to come back stronger hello guys hello. sorry about Stopping here. What happens? This is my speak. <laughs> so we're gonna put you on a record. Oh, so it's gonna be the fat bet? Yeah. Oh, that'd be great. Oh man, we back. Hey, by the way, thank you for taking my car back. Oh man, no and you were holding ass, man. I'm sure he was breaking fucked up. Know, he was fast. I was like, wow.